2023 is fully under the way and this is the year to get started with that side hustle or business that you've been dying to create. What are my top five different business ideas that I would do if I had to start from zero? Well, the first one is dropshipping. Dropshipping is definitely one of the fastest growing business models available out there. One of the reasons I like dropshipping or even e-commerce in general is its scalability. But if you do start dropshipping, you have to keep one thing in mind, and that is finding a good product. The second thing you need to do when you start dropshipping is actually come up with a long-term strategy. A lot of products like the fidget spinner will peak and then drop very rapidly. So if you want to turn this into a long-term business, then you've got two options. The first is you either create a brand out of that product. The second is you cash out and you sell that business and then you take that money and invest it into a new business. So if dropshipping isn't your thing, the next thing is sales. Realistically, in my opinion, anybody who starts a business of any sort really should have some experience in sales. It's definitely an invaluable skill. So one of the best things you can do is go out there and just get a simple sales job. Whether that's cold calling or just becoming an appointment setter is usually the first way to get your foot in the door. An appointment setter is essentially someone who contacts leads, whether they're warm inbound leads or cold prospects, they warm them up and qualify them for a sales call. Typically an appointment setter will be paid per call that they book or they'll be paid a smaller commission than the salesperson. The ideal goal from this is to become an appointment setter and then step up to become a salesperson after that. But this all really comes down to which business you set yourself up in because if you join a business that's failing, that's not doing very well, the sales job is going to be much harder than if you were to join a business, for example, like this YouTube channel where we have hot, warm, inbound leads. Those leads are much easier to sell to and therefore your commissions are going to be much greater and you'll make a lot more money much quicker. But sales isn't for everyone and it is a bit more of an extroverted job. So if you're not into sales, the third thing that I would recommend is actually creating a personal brand. And a lot of people don't think about this, but it is something that every single person can do. All you need to do is find a niche or something you're passionate about. So we're going to use YouTube as this specific example. If you're getting started with YouTube and you want to build a long-term business out of that channel, I would typically recommend looking at the different niches available because if you're going to be focusing on AdSense, then a lot of them pay a lot more than others. For example, this channel, if and when when it gets monetized will be at about $25, $35 CPM, whereas a photography channel will be closer to $2 or $3 CPM. So if we're going to be paid through AdSense, it really makes a difference which niche we're in. You can send people to a landing page and then you can sell a high ticket course or you can sell a high ticket service. For example, I consult businesses and e-commerce brands to help them grow and scale their company. And that is something that I offer for my audience. If people don't want to pay for it, there's plenty of free content on my channel as well. The other way of making money through YouTube is actually affiliates. And that leads me on to the next business model, which is essentially affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is essentially the idea of selling someone else's product through their link. For example, if I'm selling phone cases, all I need to do is find a website or a brand that sells phone cases, get an affiliate link, and then promote that link. For every sale that I bring them, I'll get a commission, which is usually 10, 20%. When I do affiliate marketing, I like to focus on subscription products. These are recurring commissions that I will be getting for the next 12 or 24 months. And typically the best way of doing this is with software companies. One of my largest affiliates is with GoHire level. It's a company that I use constantly to build funnels for my e-commerce brands and clients and also internally for my own agency. And for every single customer that I bring go high level, I will get a commission of about 40%. And this is a recurring commission. So for as long as that customer is paying, I will continue to make 40% on every single purchase they make monthly, which is typically around $40. So obviously you can see how quickly this can scale. And one of the best things about affiliate marketing is all you need to do is focus on the marketing side and let them handle the fulfillment. So if you want to get started with affiliate marketing, there are two ways to really go about it. The first is advertising and the second is through your personal brand. I would always recommend if you haven't got much money just to build a mini personal brand and get started that way. And we can direct everyone to a link which is an affiliate product. We can even direct people to our Amazon links. So for example if you guys are interested in what camera I use or these light boxes then you can click the links in the description and purchase those. For every sale that's made through my links I will receive a commission on those sales. So that leads me to the fifth and final way to make money in 2023 and that is SaaS arbitrage. SaaS arbitrage is something that I personally do myself and I think it's a really powerful business model for people to get started. It's essentially a cross between affiliate marketing and building a SaaS yourself. But if you can't build a SaaS or a software company yourself, there are companies out there which will let you white label their software as your own and then go out and sell it to other people. Essentially, you pay a monthly licensing fee for that product and then you can go and sell as many versions as you want at whatever pricing you want. And one of the best ones that I recommend people do is go high level because it's an all-in-one funnel builder and automation tool. 
And the best part is you can create what's called snapshots, where essentially you build landing pages, follow up flows, and email marketing for different clients. And that's all done in one little downloadable file. Then for every single client you set up, you just instantly download that onto their account, and then you charge them a monthly retainer to manage all of their systems. Every time they need to update their website, or you need to just tweak their calendar, this is something that's covered by that monthly retainer. But for the most part, everything is handled by that software company. And if you want to work out how to market it, I would first start off with your network. You can do cold DM. You can even do location-based advertising of Facebook or even using LinkedIn. But as with all marketing, you're going to have to split test and find out exactly what works for you and your business. But those are my five ideas. I'm interested to see what you guys are thinking. So leave a comment down below. And if you want to make money passively, I've got a free Discord channel, which you can also join, which is linked down below. But in the meantime, don't forget to watch this video here on how we can use AI to create us automated businesses. But I will see you guys in the next video.